Recently at National Manufacturing Week Oztech 2017, LEAP had the opportunity to showcase the very exciting potential of augmented reality technology, often known as AR. In this case, using the Monash Motorsport 2016 Formula SAE race car. Students from the team have worked with LEAP to create AR experiences that are overlaid on live footage of the real life car, as you can see here in footage from our stand. So firstly, what is AR exactly? Well, it's of course important to understand that AR differs from virtual reality or VR, which is a completely immersed virtual world. In contrast, AR allows designers and engineers to overlay imported digital information onto the real world, as you can see here. Of course, unlike VR, with AR there's no danger of you tripping over as you walk around as industry begins to wake up to the huge potential of AR, the main opportunities present themselves in sales and marketing situations, in training and servicing, in operations, particularly as IoT data and knowledge grows, and in R&D, where teamwork and collaboration are critical. Back to the Monash Motorsport race car. Let's start off with AR examples of CAD geometry. So it makes sense to show parts of the car, such as the pedal assembly and the brake rotors, which are not usually visible. Likewise, we can display the full engine, the intercoolers, turbo components, as you can see here. And you can begin to understand that in a collaborative team environment, the students can really use AR during team meetings, when they're brainstorming potential design changes, and during design reviews. Formula SAE is a serious competition where success is defined not only by your engineering brilliance but by very thorough team organisation and team management. So with so many younger students coming through the ranks each year, one critical aspect for teams is in the successful handover of information each year and very quick and effective training of these younger team members. So as an example of a training scenario, you can see here using AR, the removal and refit of a wheel shown overlaid on the real life car and you can begin to understand um, the massive potential for AR technology for training apprentices and for dealing with technicians who may not be trained already in a particular component but they can be easily equipped with AR goggles keeping their hands free and they could be located in a factory or at very remote sites where they can be instantly trained for the operations or servicing of new and very complex components. So what about IoT? Now if we move on to a potential competitive race scenario, let's think about the trends that are driving the Internet of Things. Sensors are certainly becoming cheaper every day, cheaper by orders of magnitude almost, and can now also wirelessly transmit their data so that engineers get a continuous stream of information coming back from the car. This gives the team critical information about things like oil pressure, brake temperatures, battery charge and the like. No wonder F1 teams like Red Bull Racing now describe themselves really as an IoT and big data organisation. In the past, Formula SA teams really only received this kind of sensor information from a data logger located physically on the car and they had to go in and plug in a serial cable to download that information. So they can now have a situation where there's a continuous stream of IoT information that they then need to make sense of. So AR allows them to very intuitively visualize this digital information that can be overlaid on the car and they can make a very quick assessment of the situation and of course flag any issues uh, while the car is still out there driving on the track rather than wasting crucial seconds waiting for this information to download once they're back in the pits. Coming back to the R&D cycle, the Monash students are also looking to take advantage of AR technology to visualise the impact of their design changes on things like structural components as well as the aerodynamics of the car. We've found that using AR to visualise these simulation results overlaid on the real product, such as this car, in many ways provides a much more compelling and intuitive experience compared to just viewing those results on a screen. Some of the early adopters of AR in F1 have described it as bringing back the emotional part of engineering and honestly you simply need to experience it for yourself to fully understand the impact as you walk around this race car. Here we can see the visualization of aerodynamic results starting off with scanning the PTC thing mark and we can 
firstly see the original CAD design where that we have a straight front wing end plate. And most of the flow shown in yellow here is actually being drawn under the rotating front wheel and through the suspension area. With a very simple design change that's actually now implemented on the car, you can now see that there's a curved end plate. And when we look at the results shown here in green, we can see that the flow is now mostly directed outboard and around that rotating wheel. And this has been optimized to give the students much greater control over the flow onto the aerodynamic surfaces downstream. If we now animate these CFD results and release some streamlines just in front of the front wing, something akin to releasing smoke traces in a wind tunnel, we can see the variation in turbulent flow that goes under compared to just a few millimetres above that front wing. Focusing on the main aim of the students in this competition, which is to maximise the downforce on the front and rear wings, we can also overlay the pressure distributions here to better understand the spatial variation in downforce and allow them to brainstorm ideas to continue to maximise that downforce that these aerodynamic surfaces provide. And what if you don't have the full car handy? Well, of course, you can also use AR to show a fully virtual model along with whatever simulation results or other information is important for you at that time. This could also be in a sales and marketing situation. It could be for a design review, as can be seen here where we're really looking at a fully virtual race car model using the CAD, but also interacting with those same CFD simulation results that were previously overlaid on the real life car. So why not experience AR for yourself? We encourage you to contact your local LEAP office in Australia or New Zealand, and we can arrange a live demonstration. You might be dealing in simple CAD concepts and modifications, maybe setting up some training or servicing scenarios, and you want to add to your normal documentation process. Maybe you're tasked with integrating some IoT sensors into your product, and you want to make the most of that information. Or you might be interested in using AR to amplify your R&D simulation process. In any of these cases, please let us know. We'll work with you to learn more about this exciting technology and get started adding value to your engineering and design process. Also, a very special thanks to Dr. Marco Lasordo from Furchal Engineering in Germany, who assisted us with the creation of the AR experiences shown here today that involved transient CFD results. You can check out our CFD blog on www.computationalfluiddynamics.com.au for links to his YouTube channel and more information on his experiences with AR.